What's up guys and welcome to today's video. If you've been here before, shout out to you. Thank you for tuning in to yet another video. And if you're new here, welcome, join the family, get down there and hit subscribe. And while you're down there, hit the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. So I'm guessing a number of you guys thought that this video, like this next video, which would be this one, would be an update on the bumper, but I'm actually waiting on a JDM lightweight front bumper beam to come or to get shipped or delivered, I guess you can say. I can't even speak today. I'm waiting on that, and I was gonna get someone to do the body work on it, but I bought this coupe as like a learning project, you know? So I figured I might as well, you know, try out my bodywork skills. So I think I'm gonna be doing the bodywork myself. As you can see, I still have to finish doing the hot stapling and the plastic welding on it. And after that, I'm gonna have to do like bodywork right here on the seam. The only thing is I've been doing research and I've been getting a lot of different ideas. So I don't know exactly what body filler I need to use for a plastic bumper that moves around, you know? So if you guys have any suggestions, if any of you guys are body men or have done body work and have experience in, you know, plastic bumpers, please let me know because right now I'm kind of like up in the air on what exactly I need to use. So let me know. But this video is in fact about the coupe again. I finally got fed up with these things. They rusted out. I can barely get this thing to, to move and then I have to like wiggle it to pull them out. And that's on both sides. And then you hear that nasty noise. So needless to say, these things have got to go. So after giving it some thought, I wanted to do like the flush mounted ones so that it wouldn't have anything like poking up anymore. And I saw a bunch of the arrow catch style ones. They were like 20 bucks. So I figured, I mean, that's pretty cheap. I might as well do that. And this is a budget build. So I figured it only makes sense to get the budget ones, but after reading a whole bunch of horror stories of people having their hood come up because everything keeps breaking because they're cheaply made, I was like, yeah, that's not a risk I'm willing to take. So we're going full blown legit on this. I got some original arrow catch ones. These are like $75 on Amazon, I believe. It's like what, 50, 55 bucks more expensive than the cheap ones, but if it's gonna keep my hood down, I'm willing to pay the price. The Subaru is getting some nice things today. I picked up these nice carbon fiber uh, hood struts off of another GC owner. These were gonna go on the blue car, and when I went to go pick them up, I told the dude that I was gonna put them on this car, and he told me that he took these off of his car because he bought an aluminum lightweight hood, and he, you know, everyone hears stories about how they bend when you add these. So he didn't want to risk it. That's why he was letting them go. And that's what I have on this car. So I was like, uh, maybe I shouldn't do it either. So we're gonna go ahead and throw them on the coupe here. If you guys remember, we had a struggle getting the grommet to sit right so that the hood prop would work properly. And I wanted to get a legit set of these for the blue car and then basically make my own for this one because it's, you know, the budget one but we're just gonna leave the hood prop on this one and just go to the gas struts on the coupe. So as you can see on this hood, we don't have, oh, we have one actually, but it's only half of it, of the little clips to hold in the uh, washer nozzle lines in place. We don't have anything really holding it on other than that one, which, you know, it can pop off and that's that. I also sourced the clips that I needed for the hood. I have two of them right there. And I also have the little Y adapter that clips on because that one has the Y adapter, but it doesn't clip into the hood. So got everything we need for that. So the hood is going to be pretty cool. It's going to have the hood struts, the arrow catch and everything completely attached to it. So I sourced these little clips from a junkyard and while I was there, I like to roam around. I found a 95 Legacy and I came across some more strut tower caps. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these on as well. These are getting so freaking hard to find. If you guys remember, I recently threw a set on the blue car and I actually had to buy those at price. I think the dude 
was asking like 60 bucks for them, but I really wanted them, so I bought them. But this time I went to the junkyard, I paid like two dollars for these, maybe three, I don't remember, but basically nothing. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these on as well. Just just to have them on the car so I don't have them laying around and they don't break. So I do plan on adding probably a strut bar maybe and then throwing these on over top. But stay tuned for that. For now, let's just go ahead and snap these in like that. And like that. Look how clean that looks. I know it's a dirty car, but that just cleans up the engine bay look so much. So we're starting off with the easy parts and working our way up. Those snap in. These also snap in, but we have to feed the hose in. So we're going one step further. Let's go ahead and I think they go in here. One and two right here. And then this Y goes up in here. like that yep so now we just have to take the hose off of this which might be a little bit of a struggle all right so we got that in now we just gotta oh i broke one what the heck oh man we're back to square oh no there we go it does clip on, okay. Uh, I don't know how well it's gonna stay in there, but we might have to get another one. But for now, it goes in there. I know this one is perfectly fine. So let's, there we go. This one did look sketchy from the jump, so. But for now, we, are, we got it all on there, so we're good to go. So the next order of business would be to install the hood struts. So I believe these go something like right here. So that goes there and then this goes right there. So this bolt right here gets replaced with one of these little things. So we put that there, that goes there and then the top bolts up to that. So I didn't know exactly where to put the top bolt. I saw that it has the top hole right here and then it has this little like like upside down uppercase T going on right here. So I wanted to leave it out here where this indent is because I know once it sits down, hopefully it'll just ride right here and we're good to go. So I left it on the far side of the ear right here and then when i was installing the other side i noticed that it actually has some marks right here as you can see and it doesn't have them anywhere else so i'm guessing that's how they were previously installed by the previous owner so we got it all installed as you can see the prop is laying right there so it's holding it up let's go ahead and see if it closes right Oh, that didn't sound good. Oh, it popped out. One second. So it took a little bit of trial and error, but I finally got them to work right. Basically what was going on is this little ear that is folding down. I had it folding like down towards the engine bay, not up towards the hood. So once I flip that over, it's good to go now. As you can see, it's being held on by the struts. If I want to close it, it closes. Everything is nice and flush on both sides so we are good to go every time i go to work on this car i learn something new about it today i learned that the fender from up here was basically loose it was just held on by one bolt and it was the one i had to replace with this one everything else was loose i tightened this one a little bit tightened this one a little bit but this last one right here I gave it one too many ugga duggas and it just snapped off we're gonna have to get that one drilled out and Put some new threads in but 
This one right here on this side is the same way. So I'm not too concerned. I had to do it on the blue car too. I did that like two years ago and it's not hard to do anyway. So I'm not too concerned about it. It's just something extra that I'm gonna have to do. What I wanna do right now is I wanna drill a hole in these hood vents because right now it's all covered up and basically pointless and useless so we're gonna open up some holes to get some ventilation flowing i'm only gonna do one in the middle for now and then later down the road i i do want to cut like a bigger circle just to get more ventilation so let's just go ahead and do this for now All right, so we got our holes drilled out on both sides. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a hole right there. So at least we're getting some fresh air in there and in here. It's not a whole lot of ventilation, but it's a hole. See what I did there? Enough with the lame jokes. Let's get some hood pins installed. I think to start off, we have to remove these little screws that are holding them down. So let's go ahead and take these off. That one's not coming out. And this one did though. This one's not even sitting flush. <laughs> All right, we got a spinner here. This one is coming off. One second guys, these are being very stubborn, so I'm gonna have to have a little chat with them and persuade them real quick. No, I was not gonna sledgehammer my car. All I had to do was pry up with a flathead on the actual piece and then unscrew it with a Phillips and it came right out. So got both sides taken care of. So now that we have that taken care of, I'm in a little bit of a dilemma. I don't know what looks better. I don't know if the whole side looks better or the diagonal looks better. I need help deciding. So I'm gonna make a poll on my YouTube channel. I believe I can make a little post where I can add options. Hopefully you guys participate in that and Tomorrow I will pick this back up and the one that has the most votes, I guess, is gonna determine which way it goes. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. All right guys, so this is what we're gonna be doing. I made a post here on YouTube, but YouTube, when you create a post, they only let you either add a picture or add a poll, not both. So I decided to add a picture so that you guys knew exactly what I was asking, but you guys had to comment and I got a decent amount of likes, but not really any comments. I only got three comments, two for the sideways and then Tyler that voted on the diagonal ones and I said majority rules. So I'm gonna go ahead and go sideways. I also read that if you put them like diagonal that if they were to come up the wind there's a chance that the wind can push it up and make it, you know, flip open basically. And we don't want that. So we're gonna go sideways. I went ahead and made some templates myself because AeroCatch used to give you a template that you can use to know how to cut your hood basically but they don't do that anymore, so I had to make my own. I watched a couple videos, some dude did it this way, and I like the idea, so I'm gonna go ahead and tape this onto the car. That way I know exactly where to cut, how big to cut, and I will position it the way I want it. I got the little centerpiece cut out right here as well, so I'll know exactly how to put it on. So basically, if I want it like that, I just take this off. Luckily for me, we already have the hood pins sticking out right there so i put this right there basically so i know where this is gonna go so i'm just gonna tape it and then we'll know that this is what we need to cut out
All right, so we got the holes drilled out. I drilled them out on my template right here. I drilled it out inside the line because I wanted it to be as snug of a fit as possible. And I think we nailed it. Like there's no wiggle room. Well, there's a little bit, but up here there's none. There's just a little bit back here. And then on this one, there's basically none on either side on this. So we are good to go. They're nice and snug. So I think now we have to open the holes up here to be able to put our like little retaining rings back here. And then after that, I think we should be good. So I was starting to cut the bottom of the hood, but the Dremel, the battery of the Dremel died. So while it's charging, I went ahead and I marked where all the holes need to go in order to bolt the, the latches down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these off and then we're just gonna drill all of these holes out. All right guys, this took me forever because our hoods actually have like two layers up top and then the bottom one. And I cut the top one and the bottom one, but not the one right under the top one. So you kind of have to trim that a little more to get the retaining ring that goes in from the bottom. You have to do that so that everything goes on. But once you do that, everything works perfectly. So now if you see, I press this, pull this back, press this, pull this back hood comes right up once I got these tightened down they were kind of like bent this way a little bit so I just literally put my palm on it pushed forward and now when I shut it nothing nothing absolutely nothing grabs you just push these down and you're good to go the only thing that sucks about putting them this way instead of diagonal is that we have two little holes now that we're gonna have to fill in once we start doing the body work because the other one were or the other ones were this way so we're gonna have to fill that up but they're very tiny so i'm not too worried about it but that's gonna do it for this video guys because i am drenched in sweat it's super hot and it took forever but i like doing this and documenting it for you guys so that you guys know what to do like the whole like trimming the top layer i didn't know our cars had two layers up there so it's probably different from a lot of other cars because like i said i watched some videos and they only cut a hole at the top hole at the bottom we actually have to trim the second layer up top but the final product is so freaking nice the only thing i couldn't run are these sleeves that it brought for here i think what i'm gonna do is cut them up just so that it has a little bit of cushion right there but other than that that's all we can do with them. Ours are, they come up so little that you can't really run them. So <sighs> I'm exhausted. I'm super glad we got new hood pins, the good kind and hood struts. So like opening the hood is super easy. We got all of the washer sprayer lines taken care of as well. From now on, when I can't decide on something, I am gonna be posting more often on YouTube so that you guys can vote. So if you can, please be active on it because it helps me decide on what to do like i said majority rules every single time this time it was two to one not many but majority ruled so yeah hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and while you're down there hit the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any of the future videos but that's going to do it for this one so as always keep moving forward and stay on the gas